Okay, on this video we're going to go over mediastinal imaging, looking at the mediastinum, uh, and we'll also cover all the nodal stations as well. So, if you look right here, I've, I've, I've got the uh, first two slices of the CAT scan that I focused in on are actually going to be uh, station 7. Or what we also know as the subcarinal space. All right, and what you can see here is very clearly. I'm going to draw the uh, bronchi in green. You can see here the right main or the right main stem with the takeoff of the right upper lobe bronchus right there, and this right here is the left main stem. Now we've gone down a little bit. By now we're on the bronchus intermedius. The right upper lobe has already gone away, and here is still the left main stem. And what you've got in between here is going to be a level 7 lymph node, right about there. Over here is going to be the esophagus, all right? And then you've got your pulmonary artery, right here. This is the main PA up here. Here's the left PA over here. Here's the right PA over here. You can see how the right PA is directly in front of the uh, subcrinal lymph nodes. Over here, you've got the superior vena cava. And here's the superior vena cave over here. And then I guess the last thing you got to look for is some nerves. Running right about here is going to be the phrenic. And coming right through this area is going to be, sort of in this area, is going to be the left recurrent laryngeal nerve. And by the time you get down here, you still have phrenic over here. It runs right on top, or just to the lateral wall of the SVC. Of course, your aorta, sitting here, this is the ascending aorta. And this, of course, back here, is your descending aorta. And same here, you got descending aorta, and you have ascending aorta. In fact, right about here, you can see your mammaries. Here's your right mammary, and here's your left mammary. And of course, sternum here and down here is going to be, on the back side, is going to be the spine. So if we move down or up a little bit, I've arranged three cuts here. What you've got on this one is going to be you're at the subcarinal space. What color did I do the subcarinal? I did it that dark green, right? So here again is the right main stem bronchus with the right upper lobe almost immediately and here's the left main stem bronchus right there and then the esophagus gotta remember my colors here the esophagus I made it that light blue didn't I is gonna be right in this area sitting next to the right main stem is going to be the superior vena cava and here is the azagus coming down like this so this is SVC and here is the azagus and then of course going across the top here is going to be your arch so arch of your aorta and then these little nodes right here, I think we did those green, didn't we? Sort of, uh, what color do we do those nodes? We did them yellow, as I recall. Yeah, the nodes are, this is going to be a 4R. Because it's sort of on the right side. Here's another 4R lymph node right here. And you've got another little 4R lymph node here. And the 4R lymph nodes go all the way down below the ascus. So this is a little bit higher cut than this one. So this is the lowest cut right here. And then this is higher. Higher. And this is the highest. And the reason this is the highest is because you've got the takeoff of the anonymous artery here. So this is your anonymous. I'm not going to be spelled anonymous artery. So and and that is the end 
of the four R's. So this node right here is going to be your highest 4R. Of course, by now we are sitting on the trachea. And this is, of course, trachea. And this is, of course, trachea. And then our esophagus is still sitting pretty right, crammed right in this corner. Here's your esophagus right here. Here's your esophagus right here. Esophagus. and esophagus. And then of course here is the very top of your pulmonary artery. This is the PA and this is of course ascending aorta and this is the descending aorta. And then finally you've got your phrenic nerve somewhere in here, or I'm sorry, your left recurrent laryngeal nerve somewhere in there and riding right here is going to be your phrenic, your right and it's still riding right here, still riding right here next to the SVC, and here it's still riding right here. You can also see that the SVC is now splitting, superior vena cava, and it's starting to split into the brachiocephalic on the left. So this is the left brachiocephalic, and this is going to become the right brachiocephalic. Still got your mammaries right up in here, riding right next to the sternum and moving up. Now I brought us all the way up here to the level 2 lymph nodes. So these are the 2R and the 2L lymph nodes. Here's a little 2R right there. And there is maybe another little 2R right here. And of course what you got right here is your anonymous artery right here. Here is your left carotid and here is your left subclavian and then of course now your SVC is split into a right brachiocephalic and this crossing across the top is going to be your left brachiocephalic and your nerves are going to be running right down as we showed here your phrenic is going to be coming up this way so this is your right phrenic and your left phrenic I hadn't showed it yet but your left phrenic is going to be sort of coming up right in this area right here is going to be your left phrenic and of course your vagus is going to be coming down along in this area right here left vagus and your left recurrent laryngeal is going to be going in this esophagotracheal groove you've got your uh, esophagus back here still esophagus and of course you've got your trachea in the middle when you get up here now a little bit higher up what you're going to see now is you're going to see the somewhere coming right around like this is going to be the vagus hooking around and giving off the right recurrent laryngeal nerve and of course right here is going to be the vagus on that side and then of course you still have your phrenic coming up over here which is your right phrenic nerve and of course on this side right behind this vein is going to be your left phrenic nerve all right and then the final split of x-rays I've got is way down here at the bottom so remember this was the subcranial if we start going lower you're going to start seeing this is the uh, right here this of course is your left atrium and this right here is your inferior pulmonary vein and right here we're looking at the superior pulmonary vein and so right back here you have your azagus 
you have your esophagus esophagus right here and of course you have your descending aorta right here and so the reason I show this cut is because the next lymph nodes that begin this slice this slice right here is a little bit lower and this one is even lower right and as you go lower now what you got right in here is a level nine lymph node and there'll still be some nines in this area and then over here now on this slice you can see coming into your left atrium is going to be your inferior pulmonary vein and so below that slice over here you're going to start seeing in this area are you going to be your right oops use the wrong color there let me make sure we keep everything the same over here in this area is going to be your right level nine lymph nodes and then of course you still have your esophagus sitting here and then right behind it and running with it is going to be your azagus vein right here um, still got your mammary vein and artery following down the sternum right here arteries 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 this patient has another bypass so you can see them both going all the way down and then finally I guess we can point out where the phrenics are the phrenic nerve runs pretty close to the veins on the uh, on the right side of course up here it's going to be on the SVC but then it lays within about a centimeter or so of the veins on the left side phrenic vein stays further out in front it's going to be somewhere in here so this will be your left phrenic I'm sorry nerve and this of course is your right phrenic nerve so that's the anatomy of the mediastinum along with the nodal stations thanks very much